Buddhism is a philosophy that has been formulated and organized into a, a productive social force that uh, uh, takes or accepts the premise that man is not a creature to be redeemed, but one who must recognize within himself his own potential, his own liabilities, and deal with them accordingly. We feel as Nietzsche felt when he obviously wrote uh, also Sprachsar's opinion is that man can no longer fall back on established religion as a sort of identity, a collective identity. And occultism is a sort of do-it-yourself God kit in whatever form it takes, oriented towards personal power. As a result of this, those who could be accepted collectively simply by being Christians at one time, for example, now find that with automation, with advances in technology, that their roles as human beings are much are lessened a great deal, are much less viable than ever before. So as a result of this, they have set themselves up in sort of a minor godhead role, or god role, or goddess role, in a, a specious, or rather illogical at times, form of importance, or sense of importance. So I honestly feel occultism gives many people a chance to be big fish in little ponds. But man must learn, of course, his animal nature by studying the nature of the beast and from the children, this childlike sense of wonder, and to be able to relate to these things within him and the animal within him in order to develop into the higher man. The, the, the man who is ultimately going to succeed or to survive on this planet. In your book, The Satanic Bible, you say, hate your enemies with a whole heart, and if a man smites you on one cheek, smash him on the other. Do, yes. you, believe, do you believe in this? Yes, very much so. I think everyone does, except they cloak it in forms of false uh, altruism or false morality. They feel that there's so much repressed aggression and repressed hostility that is never allowed to manifest itself because of teachings such as turn the other cheek, that it is it has made man an intrinsically vicious creature because he's bottled up all of these feelings or he channels them into what would appear to be innocuous directions that are actually much more harmful to those who are around him. To look up the animal instinct. Yes, I, I fully agree that it is an excuse, but then I also agree that Christianity has been an excuse for many too because there are many sects of Christianity that believe that in order to attain a spiritual quality or some sort of communion with God, one must be purged of any carnal desires. And the only way to rid oneself of carnal desires is to release them fully. And of course, the Klishti in Russia believe this, that there's this think line, this little flame that's inside of everyone, and it one must be purged of any carnal desires, and the only way to rid oneself of carnal desires is to release them fully. And of course, the Klishti in Russia believe this, that there's this think line, this little flame that's inside of everyone, and it burns brightly until it's extinguished through lust and through the, the expression. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? No, no. Irrevocably not. I believe that the Godhead resides within oneself. I believe that man creates gods in accordance with his own needs. And if he doesn't, someone else will create them for him. 
Who or what is Satan to you? Satan is the essence of that which dwells within myself. Would you explicitate this? Satan is the pioneer, the inventor, Prometheus. Satan has always been the scapegoat, the other, as Thomas Saz, the psychiatrist, calls him. He has always been the opposition to what has been established at the time the counterbalance that creates change, that creates evolution, that sets the climate socially for modification. Because without this so-called evil, there could be no change. Mr. Lave, many of your critics and opponents of Satanism say that you are a businessman and a humbug and you're doing all this just to make your money. You are a show businessman, is that right? Well, I believe it's a Barnum and Bailey world. It's as phony as it can be, as the, to as the song, the popular song stated. And if I am a humbug, and I am a phony, then everyone else is a phony too. And I feel that you have to be a certain bit of a showman in the world in order to get ahead, in order to attain your goals. You have to get people's attention. And in order to deny this aspect of recognition that each of us has, every animal, every living creature wishes recognition in some form or another. This is the whole concept of the mating process, is to be recognized. I think to deny this is to be hypocritical, to be dishonest in the worst way. In other words, uh, you agree that you misuse people for your own purposes? Oh, if someone begs to be misused, then I'll be very glad to oblige.